Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through an inner and outer thighs workout. We're going to be doing seven exercises, none of which require any equipment. So grab a mat and let's work out. First up, we're going to do 15 lateral leg lifts. Come onto your right side with your right knee slightly bent. From here, just lift your left leg up and then slowly lower it down. You can use your left hand to stabilize yourself if you're feeling a little shaky and prop your head up with your right hand. Make sure your left leg is in line with your body and isn't creeping forward at all. Try not to rest your working leg in between reps and remember to breathe. Five more. Last three, two, and one. Rest. All right, now it's time to even ourselves out and hit the other side. Same rules apply. Every so often, look down and make sure your hips are even and not rolling forward or backwards at all. They should be one stacked on top of the other. Three to go. And rest. Next up, we've got 15 clamshells. Come onto your right side with your legs stacked, knees bent at a 45 degree angle. Keeping your feet touching, lift your left knee as high as you can without shifting your pelvis and then return to the starting position. Pause at the top of each movement for a second to really feel your glutes engage. Be conscious to make sure that your hips stay stacked and aren't rolling backward. Three more on this side. And rest. Now we're going to flip it over and do clamshells on the other side. Setup is going to be exactly the same. Make sure you keep your pelvis stable and hips stacked. If you want to challenge yourself with this exercise in the future, you can always use a resistance band. Last three, two, and one. Rest. Next up, we're going to do 15 inner thigh leg lifts. Come onto your right side, bending your left knee and placing your foot in front of you. Lift your right leg up and drop it down. As with clamshells, keep your torso stable by engaging your core. Be sure not to rush this exercise and try not to rest your working leg on the ground in between reps. And you're going to finish off by holding your leg at the top of the movement for 10 seconds, starting now. Keep breathing for three, two, and one. Rest. Moving on to the other side with the exact same setup. 15 more reps to even ourselves out. Keep breathing and remember to keep your belly button drawn into your spine. Getting ready for that 10 second hold, and here we go. We're resting in three, two, and one. Next up, we're going to do 15 curtsy lunges. Start standing with your feet hip distance apart. Lunge back diagonally and sit your hips down. Return to stand and repeat on the other side. Really be conscious of keeping your chest up and your shoulders rolled back. People have a tendency to lean forward during this exercise and we want to make sure that you're standing up nice and tall. Lock your core on by drawing your belly button into your spine and remember to breathe.
two more on each side. And rest. Next up, we're going to do 15 plie squats followed by 15 plie squat pulses. Start standing with your feet wider than shoulder width, toes facing out. Engage your core and sit down into a squat and then press through your heels to stand. Depending on how flexible you are, you might not be able to get your thighs parallel with the ground. Don't stretch past the point of discomfort. Keep your chest up and remember to breathe. We're going into pulses in two and one. 15 little pulses, keeping that belly button drawn tightly into your spine. And rest. Next, we're going to do 15 squats with lateral leg lifts. Start standing with your feet hip width. Sit back and down into a squat, and as you stand, lift your right leg up laterally. Return to your squat and repeat on the other side. It's super important to keep your core locked on tight and to maintain your balance to protect your lower vertebrae. If you're having trouble balancing, just slow the entire movement down a bit. Keep your chest up and shoulders back. Two more on each side. And rest. We're going to finish off with 15 lateral lunges. Start standing with your feet wider than shoulder width, toes facing forward. Sit down into a squat on your right side, keeping your left leg straight and return to standing. Keep your shoulders back and chest up and don't let your knee come forward past your toes when you drop your butt down. Last three, two, and one. Moving on to your left side, final 15 reps of the day. Keep breathing and keep your core locked on tight. Last five, three, two, and one, done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this workout. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel. Hit that subscribe button and let me know what types of videos you'd like to see in the future.